Hi everyone, I am Nazia Zareen from Ivy Pro School. Today I will show you how can you take a Power BI dashboard to a next level. We will create a slicer panel which will be dynamic in nature. I have created this dashboard and you can see that there is no room for slices at all. So what we will do is that we will create a separate panel in this area and place all the slices together. So let us go ahead and first create some slices. The first one we will create with the help of the order year. And then we will change it to a drop down list. Adjust the size. And then the second one we will create with the help of the segment. And the third one we will create with the help of the ship mode. And we'll pick up the ship mode. So we have created all the three of them and we can see that there is no place to fit in. So what we will do is that we will create a slicer panel in this region. In order to do that, we will first have to go to insert and then select shapes and then pick up the rectangular shape. Now we will adjust the size. Just make it as big enough so that all the three of them can fit in inside easily. Now we will drop in all the slices inside. Do not worry about the disappearance. We will fix that by doing the layering. Actually, there are too many elements in this region. Hence, the visuals are getting overlapped. To do the proper layering, we will first have to go to the views. Then click on selections. We get a selection panel. So we need to expand that. The shape which you can see over here is nothing but a rectangular blue box. So we will just drag it down the three slices. We will now insert an arrow shape so that it would be more intuitive for the user to understand that they can go back and forth the panel. Hence we will insert the shape. We will take this arrow, adjust the size. And since it is mixing with the background, we will format it. We will go to the format panel. And then in general, we can turn on the background. We will make it white. And yes, now it is visible. You can place this arrow wherever you want. For now, I will place it at the bottom of the panel. It is done. Now I will rename the arrow. It is advisable to give some name to the, to the shapes that we are adding so that we do not get mixed up as to what these shapes are. So I will rename it as the back arrow. Now I am going to select all these elements together. The back arrow, the three slicers and the, and the shape. So I am holding down the shift key of my keyboard and selecting them all. I actually want to group all of these elements into a single group so that it becomes more organized. So I'll go to format and group. And now I have it as a group one. I will just change the name to slicer panel. And now I can see that all the five elements are inside it. The next step would be to create two bookmarks, one with the dashboard and the slicer panel and the other one without the slicer panel. 
so we will go to the bookmarks and then the first one will be with the slices so we will click on add and here we can see it comes up at bookmark 6 and I will rename it as show slicer panel here one thing is to be noted that once we have created a bookmark we need to uncheck the data If we do not do this, all our filters will get disturbed. The next one would be to create without the slicer panel. So we will uncheck the slicer panel, we will hide it and then add once again and rename it. I will name it as hide slicer panel. And again we will have to uncheck the data. So in this way we have created two bookmarks. Let us try it out with the slicer panel and this one is without the slicer panel. Now I am going to connect my arrow with the bookmark. So I will select it, go to format and then turn on the actions, drop down and then change the type to bookmark. Now this arrow should be able to collapse the panel. Hence the bookmark which we need to select over here is hide slicer panel. In order to do this, we will actually have to press the control key of our keyboard and then right click on the mouse. So what we will do is that we will add a tooltip so that the user can understand that they need to hold down the control key while clicking the mouse. So we will add this tooltip. And now we can try this once. I will close all the tabs. So now I am holding down the control key. Just click anywhere else. Yeah, so now I will hold down the control key and right click the mouse. And the slicer panel has collapsed. This shape has came up by mistake. So I will get rid of it. Now we need to add an image so that the user can understand that with the help of this he can open up the slicer panel. So in order to do that I will go ahead and click on insert then select image and I have already downloaded an image. You can also download of your own choice. The best place to download the image would be flaticons. Just make sure that the image which you are selecting should be understandable, like it serves its purpose. So I have selected this filter shape and now I will make some room for it. I will make it smaller. And this should be fine. And then bring it over here. Now I will rename this image also. I will name it as the filter image. And we will have to connect this image to the bookmark as well. So we will go to format. And then turn on the actions. Change the type to bookmark. And then this image should turn on the slicer panel. So we will select show slicer panel. And then once again, just like previously, we gave the tooltip here, we will give it once again. Let us now try this once. So we can hover over the image and can see that we get the tooltip. So now I'm holding down the control key and then clicking on the mouse. Here we go. So with these filters, we are able to collapse and bring our slices. Let us now try to select a few filters. 
so we will select consumers and in the order year we can select 2012 and 2013 and in the ship mode we can select the first class and the same day and all our filters are working fine now i will send this filter image at the back of the panel so i will just drag this down and it's hidden now so there is a small issue which we need to fix first let us see what is it so whenever we are over our filters and working with it it is working fine but the moment we are clicking anywhere else in the rectangular box it is getting disappeared so we need to get that fixed in order to do that we need to first ungroup our slicer panel so we'll select it go to the group and then ungroup we have done this because we need to add another element inside it so we'll go to insert select buttons and then click on add blank buttons so what is the work of this button this button will actually protect our slices from getting disappeared so we will select it and mask it over the rectangular shape and then we will format it we will hide all the visual borders this should be completely invisible so we will select format and then in the borders we will turn it off and now we will drag this button just above the rectangular shape let us try it now now we can see that i'm clicking elsewhere but it is not getting disappeared so it's working fine now and i'm also able to interact with my filters without any hindrance in this way it is helping us to do away with the overlapping visuals and now it is working fine we can now collapse this panel and open up also isn't it amazing in this way we can move back and forth the slicer panel so in this way you can make your dashboard more interactive and dynamic and let you not your slicers overcrowd your dashboard thank you so much for watching this video i hope this was helpful bye bye